Hi folks, we're back with more Rivet Training Basic Rivet 2023. So today we're going to look at another family type. I'm going to do a new family here, I'm sorry. And now here again, Rivet 2023 on my machine wants for me to go to Generic. generic. So what we're going to do is go to English Imperial. Now before we use this uh, regular column here, uh, more of an architectural thing, but here we want to go and use the structural column for this exercise. We're going to do a few little different things here. And by the way, if you haven't started watching this series from the beginning, you should. It's a pretty good series to learn families. Uh, so here's our structural column. We'll open that one up for our template. And as you can see, we've got preset reference planes here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go in here and give it my parameters, the overall width and length, or width and depth, or whatever you want to call it. Whatever we call it. Go to the line dimension here, and here, and one here, and here. And we'll go here with width and depth. Okay, this. most cases type parameters so this is going to be a column <clears throat> so there we have the width and our depth and then we'll go into our front view here all right so now this is a rep this is a column again so this is why this is this way so let's go back into our lower our reference level our lower reference level and we'll just go and add some geometry here. We'll make sure this locks. So the default height is one foot, but we're going to align to the reference level. So here, here, here. So now I want to finish this. And then go into my front view. I'm not too worried about the flexing because I did lock them. And you know, everything automatically locked. So let's go and look at this in our 3D view. So there's our column now. Um, town views. <clears throat> now we can get a little creative here um, with our with our column. So what I'm going to do here now I'm going to introduce you to another reference. Um, this is a reference line. We're going to look at the reference line. Okay. So what we can do with a reference line? Let's just go in here. Go into this view and I'm going to draw some reference lines here at 45 degree angle. Give me a second here. Cancel that. Just go in this view right here and just, just do a reference line about four inches that way. Boom. And just make sure it's on a 45. Is 135? Yep, that's it. So now I'm just going to mirror this guy over here. Just copy it. You see the, the way your reference line looks? Because it does some neat stuff. We'll see. Mirror to there. Then I'll grab those two. OK. 
Okay. <coughs> now, <clears throat> I'm going to add some dimensions here to here. So you want to always want to go from the reference plane to this point here. <clears throat> okay. Probably should have well. So now what I want to do, I want to grab all these guys here. With the control key. Just grab each one of these. I'm going to give it a label. Yep, all of them. I'll call it tamper. And I'm going to go OK. <coughs> Okay, so now we've got all of those guys in place. So now what I'm going to do here, let me go and look at these, give, give these some color or something. These are going to be uh, shaded views. Yeah. Let's see, just a little better. Okay. So now, let's see what we got here. Uh, just keep it shaded. Well, that's fine for now. Okay, so now we've got our champers in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go and create another extrusion right on top of this. So this is what I'm going to do. Let me just go to this one. But I'm going to have to clean it up, of course. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to finish that. Okay. So we're all good. So except for, oh, I can just bump this guy out of here now because he's just in the way. So let's go in this guy and just, whoop, bye bye, and then go into this front view, and align. Uh oh, am I there? Yep. Do that. And there's our column. Now. Let's open up a project here. Let's go to structural. <coughs> Look, I'm sorry. Let's go to file new. new project. And we're gonna go and get the structural template here. Say okay. Now there's our, our template, our new drawing. So we're going to load our column into our project here. See what we got. So there's our new family in, in our project here. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to just tab these views. Okay, now, we're going on our 3D project view, and there's our column. Here we go right here. 
this tool, man. I'm gonna go into this 3D view. Okay, so there's our column in our project. So now we've got all this flexibility here with this column because, uh, let's look at the properties here. Okay, so that's basically how we would do that. <clears throat> and then again, uh, we, we got this guy, we can change all these parameters, uh, get it different types. So if I go back into the family, into the column, as you can see, We can change this to about anything you want here. We can make this, uh, let's see if we make this a four by two and make the chamfers six and comply. And there you go. <coughs> so you can do almost anything you want with this, excuse me. But anyway, guys, this is just a little more in our exercise of basic family. So, uh, Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Let me see what this one will look like. Uh, we can make the chamfer any size we want using the reference line. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. Make this four by four. Uh, and apply. Okay. So hey folks, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Please subscribe. Uh, helps me make videos like this all the time. Uh, again, uh, thanks for watching. And if you haven't started from the beginning, please do so. Because what we can do is we can review some things. Pretty neat stuff. So hey guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Be safe. Bye.